Hi everyone, uh, this is Henio, and this is Henio Talks. Um, today we want to talk about uh, honesty. I want to talk about what uh, the importance of honesty, uh, kind of the deeper reasons we would want to have honesty. And uh, um, there's always a surface layer to our understanding of things, something that we can easily talk about, uh, an easy way that we can uh, talk about things, uh, uh, you know, with loved ones and family, and kind of like build us uh, at least a, a beginning or sense of intimacy. Or, or but uh, to really build that, um, these issues eventually get discussed. Uh, deeper uh, or the concepts come up and so um, when we talk about things that's kind of what we're going to be doing eventually is uh, with um, new new ideas built on old ideas so some of this um, can be fundamental uh, well it all will be fundamental for future stuff so that, that's what's so good about uh, about doing things uh, everyone should do things in the life uh, make videos or something that way uh, you can engage in experiences and get better at them uh, now, sensory experiences are good. Um, every experience has something to be learned from it. And if you're not learning anything from your experiences, or if you're doing something the, the very, uh, very sensory, um, uh, everything can be fun. So there's no the, the, nobody's life is to be judged. So I'm digressing again, which is a fun thing to do. We don't want to discourage that in life. Be spontaneous. Have a have an exciting passion for what you're doing. Um, we were talking about honesty. We want to be honest because uh, we want to train our brain to deal with reality. When we have dishonesty, or we experience dishonesty. Uh, it creates a, a, a dishonest world. Something like a matrix. If uh, you know, if everyone is dishonest around you, it's what it can feel like. But uh, what happens is. Um, People get an idea of, of what we do and how we are, and they build that idea. So someone might respect us, someone might uh, know the things we do and uh, and really admire that about us. But then whenever they find something out, uh, they can be a little bit disillusioned. Uh, it's easy to, or the respect has to be morphed. It's a it's a it's a task that the mind has to work through, which is actually very good. All tasks are good. Uh, stress is it should never be a bad thing uh, because stress. It's like working out your muscles. Uh, you want to stress them, you want to tear them, and you want to rebuild. And that's how they grow, right? Same thing happens with your mind. You want to stress concepts, you want to uh, test them, you want to uh, break them, and you want to uh, grow when you grow around the, the understanding of the concept. And so uh, every time we tear down, we will grow, and we will grow back stronger, and we will not grow unless we do tear down. So uh, that's why people that really like uh, test our limits and our balances, and uh, people that are very uh, edgy and on the uh, on the um, you know they 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 take risks. As I was talking in another video, they're going to get far. Risk is always rewarded because. Um, uh, because uh, it, you know it took a lot of faith to do that and it's coming back back down to honesty uh, keeping the world real and, and allows you to actually grow and if you have set all this up in your mind and you've created this way of being and you've you've decided oh that that's great there, I'm not that there's people like that I'm I'm aspiring to do something or this is significant or uh, of course it's very hard if there's communication if there's open communication, then honesty can always be had uh, with everyone around, and then and then uh, there, it actually helps everyone involved with all their complexes. Uh, uh, sometimes people think um, honesty is always uh, uh, it always helps you out. Now it always also keeps the world firm and real. Remember, we can only grow on things that are firm and real. We want to place a ladder on that and be able to walk up the ladder, have fun, do whatever we want. We can't do that unless we feel secure in the environment. And uh, whenever things are changing or, or, or things happen, when, whenever uh, there's any dishonesty in, in the environment, it actually creates a, a, a soft environment. It's unfirm. And uh, you can't grow as much on it. Uh, the world needs to be real so that we can uh, adapt to it. We can learn to adapt quickly uh, in future instances. And at the same time, um, we are giving the courtesy to others so that they know what's real. Um, if we that, that's why they say different stuff like if you like someone you should express it uh things like that because it helps you because you're honest so you now uh, are now dealing to learn now you have to deal with someone who is in love that is yourself but at the same time uh, now you've expressed your love for someone else they have to uh make their decisions knowing the real world which is that there's someone out there that cares deeply for them and that loves them but at the same time uh and so that that so that's always like it's a that's a courtesy or that's something that would be in place in a perfect society so um 
it's just all about returning back to to the energy that we are inside and kind of the, uh, dissolving uh, all of these these ideas. Now we can't live in this world without uh, accommodating or adjusting to the to the physical realm. Uh, the things that we um, have to do: go to school, uh, train, have a job, all of that stuff. But we can learn to. Uh, differentiate and develop an understanding now uh, it is a it is a path that once you take it's hard to uh, come back from it's the whole knowledge uh, is so um, if you're bored with your life if you if you've experienced all the physical sensation that you that you uh, you uh, can possibly handle or that you can experience or if you constantly if you think you're if you just want to try something else for a change like a mental sensation you would want to subscribe to to my channel it's, I've never said that before, uh, simply because um, that's kind of what I do. Uh, I want to dive in. Uh, as I talk through thoughts, um, I come up with unique ways of expressing them, uh, expressing ideas, and I think it's going to be very helpful for others. Uh, I find it to be very, the uh, it could be to, to hang around uh, a lot of small talk or just to be around uh, uh, in, in passive just very passive uh things can be very uh lacking of of fulfillment i don't feel very fulfilled after after like that if i just meet randomly i love eating huh if i go eat with with anyone i'll probably enjoy that but if i go uh i can actually enjoy every single thing and i think we all can if it's uh if it's up with someone with another energy there's some balance there if it's with an energy that harmonizes with us if we're kind of cool with the environment uh, we can't adjust the environment or, 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 or the people sometimes, but um, I think we can adjust ourselves and the way we vibe. So all of this stuff about self-awareness is very helpful. It does help us to to be able to adjust, understand what's going on, why we feel certain ways. Um, one thing, of course, is uh, is I've I've learned recently that if you can control your mind, you can, can you can have everything in the world because you know exactly what's causing everything. You, you're in a state of calm and uh, uh and, and collected you know you're just collected all the time uh and, and that's good we we do live in cycles that's one thing i've come to know uh, it, it it might be tied to the, there's a law i think of that that i made of, of, of the universe that i've it, it, these are just my personal perspectives but um like i said they're just as valid as anyone else's i definitely think everyone should have their own faith uh system built uh you know just have faith in something uh if you can't have faith in yourself if you can't find something then, then you definitely want to have faith in in something i would i used to get upset when big name rappers would go out there and, um, and 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 speak on different things. I still get upset actually, but this is something I thought about in the past. Uh, you would be, they go out there and they they say uh, things that promote uh, uh, like violence or or just uh, getting rich. Uh, or all of these things are important, but uh, when we go out there and uh, and and hound on one versus the other, it, it kind of creates a it makes it seem like that's more important, and it can uh, it can create it can create a frustration within us you know because that then that becomes what we are seeking and that may not actually be the real world so that's it comes back to honesty and uh and it's not just people that uh that are dishonest with us it, the, the the world makes it is trying to be dishonest all the time and it's 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 a natural thing you know we have to uh we have to constantly try to come back from uh, uh when we get um when we get moved away you know we we, gotta, we stabilize ourselves consistently always come back to neutralization as i as i used to like to say but i i was uh i was talking about when rappers talk or just big names when they talk about these concepts that uh that that aren't necessarily positive or good for for someone to consume uh where i get i i it frustrates me because they actually have a a big potential uh if, if some if there was a big name that was uh relaying these ideas that i'm relaying uh some people do um i try not to to listen to I, I try to listen and to understand and, and take into the perspective, but I think that ultimately we have to come up with our own perspective and we use other people's perspectives as guidance. And, uh, and one of the main uh, benefits of making something like videos or doing activities, like I was saying, is is we grow. Um, you know, as you paint a work of art, uh, you know, we have. That's why it's it's okay to choose things things like primary instinctual activities, carnal urge activities. Those can be very fun. They're they're a lot more fun. And as we grow in life, what tends to happen is we want to do those things with, with with some kind of meaning for them. We might uh, we want we might look for uh, ways to alter the experience with drugs or, or something like that. Um, certain foods, for example, when we eat. Uh, 
certain foods we might wish to alter our, our, our reality. Uh, you know, there's a there's a struggle with honesty is, is a big thing because it's something that we all also want to do with ourselves when we uh, we're creating a dishonest world whenever we are putting substances in us so it does make it easier uh, to live but uh, ideally we all want to live the honest world and so if we can kind of do things one by one kind of be approaching in that direction it can kind of be like the hula hoop effect I talked about in an earlier video where everyone you meet is kind of uh, your, where your life is kind of like a, you're a hula hoop and everyone in uh, your meat is pushing you along in life. And eventually, uh, are, you you know, w they each take you by their hand and move you along a, a row. And eventually, you'll be uh, at the other end of life and you'll be very different and very far, very touched by everybody uh, from where you were at the beginning. And so just like that, we do... Um, we want to take these baby steps, slowly make the initiating changes to uh, to become the person we want to be and to become, uh, to keep the world honest around for ourselves and for others. There's just so many levels to this. This was a longer video. Uh, we're beginning to to have an understanding of, of what these uh, sessions are about and uh, we can actually dive into the material. So it's uh, very, very good talking to you guys. Uh, definitely subscribe to the channel if you're interested in hearing these thoughts. And uh, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you guys have a nice day. Uh, Hitting your talks, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.